So, we're going through the tie boxing things, right? Um, the biggest thing about, like, if me and him was tie boxing, as soon as they grab you, what's our first defence? We should go here before we know what we're doing off. So, if he's near, I've got a blocker. Now, what I'm doing is I'm deciding which side I'm working. Now, I want to work that side because that's going to be my free hand. So, I trap that leg. Now, if he tries to let me, this isn't tie boxing in the, in the ring anymore, this is street fighting. Try and me. And that one. They can't need me, so we've blocked that. Does that make sense? Now what we've got to do is we can go to work. If he gives me the arm, I'll go underneath and come up. If he doesn't, I can come back up through the middle. Because they're going like that. So our first thing should always be, as soon as they grab, if they manage to get my head down, I'm going into my cross block, and that hurts if it hits them on the leg. Yeah? Then I decide which way I'm going. How do I know? Feel with my head. I don't want him to pull my head down anyway. I want to head it up. So I know he's on that side now, so I grab that leg. That's, that now gets rid of his knees. So in theory, he's going to be thinking, shit, I'm holding this guy, I'm kneeing him and I'm getting nothing from him. As long as I keep my balance and move with him, I'm good. Now I can leave him spleen, nuts, solar plexus. I can try and put him down and go under. But I'm still in a safer place than I was if I'm just freestyling here. This is not good to me. So we're here, yeah? He's kneeing. If I manage to get back through and I'm going for my takedown, this is a simple finish, but this must be a one-on-one. -on -one. If you know you're fighting more people this, don't do what I'm about to do. I'm going to go nuts, straight up. Yeah, boom. Come on now, as I pop down, that's what I do. Straight up in the head, straight in the head, and that takes on. Done. If it's a one on one, yeah? So we're here, right? Do that again, Mick. I like it, I keep going. I never see that. Oh, we're here, ready? I managed, he was here, I managed to get an arm up through and arm up through. I've got an opening, look. Straighten the nuts is going to make him go down a little bit anyway. Then I'm looking at my leg drag back, and as soon as he hits the ground, I want to stop him from getting back up by putting my weight on top. My arm's going to go straight through, and all I'm going to do is go underneath there and apply the choke. Now, the secret to this is there's two places you want to be. You either want forearm on his throat, or bicep. Because if you come up just a sec, stay there. If I was just there, there's nothing really on him. Yeah, I'm trying to crush him and there's nothing there. If I get my bicep right underneath, that's on. Or if I get my forearm on, that's on. So I usually put the forearm on and go much more under with this one. Yeah? There. Now that's on straight away. Feel it? Mm. Mm. Right. Now, if not, if you think, shit, I've gone too far through, don't worry. Get your bicep underneath so it comes across that third quarter there, right? Get the bicep on, tense the bicep a bit, and that'll work as well. Now they called it the anaconda because you can do a rolling thing, but if you've knocked him down strong, I'm going straight in there, go right the way through here, that's a dumb deal right there. See where he's tapping then? It's quite close to my groin. So I've got to make sure I'm putting weight on him as well. Yeah, I don't want him to catch me, I want to have him to stop him nearly and pass that. Is that right? Let's go one more time, I'll show you again. How long before he passes out? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, no, he's good. Totally needs to sit anyway. So he was in this position. Yeah. How should I block? Always go cross block to start, so he's blocking. I feel where his head is, right? I grab that, he carries on me in. It's not effective to me no more, so I can hit. If I do manage to get back up to this position, you're never in this. You can do knees by all means, but if they're clever and they're blocking them, just go straight in the middle for the nuts, come on. Pull them down, let's say drops in the arm. Like I'm going for the guillotine, but go underneath. Yeah? Now I'm going all the way through, so my biceps on this part of the throat, and then here and then I'll bring it in. So he tapped quite quick, so that one worked. If I was just here, this probably wouldn't affect him too quick, because I've got nothing really on it. So I'm saying to you, you're either going a little bit, and this almost has got to go right under, so you get a forearm on, that will work as well. And we go all the way through, so bicep. Something must be going across that bit. It's only on the side, that's just pain. And he might, he, the guy might go, ah, but as soon as you let go, you've done nothing. You've got to chug the guy out. Yeah, we all right with that? And then sit again, and we good. No, I'm not sure. You sure? <laughs> Good. You want to shoot again? <laughs> Don't be afraid, come on. So I'm here. Uh, I'm here. I'm blocking, yeah, and I'm able to put my elbows right on there so I'm dead the leg. Yeah, nice, nice and gently. I feel for the head with my head. I'm still in a safe place. I realise that this is the side I want to go work. This is now blocking both arms. So if he needs, I'm good. If he tries to leave with that, I straighten it, and if he goes with that, I bend it more. I can hit him with a nuts, spleen. Now I'm pulling down and I might be able to go for the choke. 
But in this case, you might have gone back to the tire boxing and do that. That's brought him weak. Back leg take down into here. As soon as I get him low, I drop on top and let my arm come all the way through. Keep your weight on him so it's hard for him. And then we just apply that. Yeah? Remember, only one on one. If you're fighting more than one person, don't be trying not to grab on the floor. <laughs> oh, beautiful.